split up of this kingdom known as a Mexa. In the Holy Quran, chapter 47, we got uh, this kingdom that been known as the Kingdom of Morocco in the 1700s. And the split was between, through the Treaty of Tordesillas, between uh, Portugal and Spain. And we will get into a little bit of that. Why the treaty apply? And these sea claims, Iberian sea claims, is Portugal and Spain. See the Sea of Ethiopia. We just finished looking at in the eastern side of the India Sea. Been split to the East Indies and the West Indies. jurisdiction, we're dealing with treaty relations. That's it. Oh yeah, we're going to deal with France. France being Normandy. We got the earliest time, we got the English fashion. These right now is called mythology and folklore. How old it is. And Morris, meaning Marsh. Um, you know what the you can see on the side. <laughs> they talk about, about all the nine surviving carvings of fair skin. You see how they gotta do that? How they gotta see stuff like that? Cause they just 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 can't be. Everything gotta be explained when they use the term Moorish on these things, man. Displacement. Okay, they see he. It's a movie, but something to look at right here. See, so he decided to check it out. The tenants of the castle believe him to be a French Moor, right? From Normandy. But he's from Florence and Normandy. We got a lot of Florence around the states. The famous intersection, South Central. Out of Florence, South Carolina, too. There's a movie, but these people spend a lot of money in these movies, so they won't be historically accurate as possible. So, by them putting a dark skin person in that area at that time period, plenty historians, amateur historians, and scholars would find it odd if they use the term black in that setting, 1328. In England, because you don't exist as that in that time period on paper, no way. And it's the Kanye, you can see the Kanye from Genghis Khan's descendants. Even coming through to the American side, we can see that they already been under. Uh, Hedge money of Moorish uh, Islamic sun and moon worship. If you want to go back before Islamic, it's it's still Islamic when you got sun and moon worship. You don't want to start in Christ. T. Moore. Khalil Salah been his successor. He was the predecessor was a mere who signed. You see? The Kainites. You see, Chupamuk Aga, the title Aga. Moorish titles. Religion. Then we got a big R B and a royal rank Mizra. Another title.
see us a better map the version of that map when we see Brazil and Morocco we see Mauri Eccles and Fez um, being hidden on this side but this map showing you that Mauri Morocco and Fez under the same heads money and this is the Portuguese um, what I would say squares and we got Spain which is Iberian or Andalusian and stuff like that but the whole we're under the hedge money and you see Colombia got the the Jesuits and re-education the Moorish Americans Knights of Columbus Tripoli or Treaty, the Treaty of Tripoli, Haifa. And look at how we, how it's uh, You got Yusuf Baksa, Mohammed Bey, Mame Kia, Ahmed Reis, which is like Ray of Bey, Spanish, so called Spanish version, De Marina. So his kingdom been called Marina. Ahmed Reis De Marina. And this, when you go to Tripoli, the moles of Tripoli of what we call Tripoli today ain't got these type of names like but we can find us in America. I met Gamadar Ali. Look how they spell Ali. Differently. Hagar Del Divan. Soliman Maya. You see? Khalil Baki Aga. You see? Mohammed Chekwe. Now you know a Chekwe. Those are the Moorish title for the so-called Indians. <laughs> like Montezuma and all of them would be you known like Che Kwe and some records. Or Kaki Kwe. Or Sharif Fe. Sharif Sheriff. All that. De La Cunidad. You see? Mexican type. Spanish type. Um, names. And that's the Tripoli Treaty. With, between Tripoli Treaty and the Moors. The moles of Tripoli at this time, wherever that may be, in the United States. And these are the people who signed it. Mamet. Look at that area. It's still in Spanish. Coca. Y Portofe de la Huerta de Fremo de mi propia mano. Saladao. And that's how they would have been speaking and if they'd been Moorish Americans, right? Consulado de España. And Tripoli de Berbia. De los cuartos días del mes de noviembre de Ibn Ede es Moorish American. De 1796. These the names, now you got. They hardly really explain, but it, it's a more American than what you think. And you can go through this through the Treaty of. Any treaty with Morocco or Tripoli or Fez, whatever, with the United States. And look at the names. Gonna have these same names that been even on, like we think the show earlier. People like Montezuma. These so called quote unquote Turkish titles. Or quote unquote Tartarian titles. You see. Our United States pick out what Spain and Portugal left. South America, the Philippines, the, the, the wherever the, the East and West Indian companies created the United States later in later times. So under jurisdiction. Which they had right because The American Empire would be our empire. They were going back since before us being our Portugal existed. So all they're doing is being the gatekeepers of that kingdom, of that dominion, of chapter 47. The fact that the whole continent got the name America 
actual uh, empire. Because how the people all the way down in Alaska, how people in Alaska and people all the way in Chile agree. Like, yeah, this place called America, how how that happened? It was some continental connection going on. We're dealing with Timor, which this even the he been the most <laughs> destructive monarch in history. I just want to show how they got different bags. You read this on your own. Like they say he calls hell be with a lot of motherfucking places. <laughs> Five percent of the world population. And that's the treaty of the region defined by Article Four of the Inter American Treaty of Reciprocal Assistance signed in Rio de Janeiro in 1947. You see they split the kingdom just like how Noble Jolly tell you where the kingdom been, the empire. And they and they're using that. And they working with it. And the United States have officials in these little meetings and stuff too. We supposed to be in those meetings with them. Brazilians and Hondurans and stuff like that. We got Africa and America. Same people. If you study the Indian Manifesto, which has, which I couldn't find, look for. So, continue to look for that. Just from the book by Meredith Quinn called Quarter Time Walker, which has eight articles, and there are over 100 articles. So, the Indian Manifesto only have eight out of 100 that really is us. Spain cannot meet the financial burden of these treaties with Indians, so called, and neither could all the rest of the new civilized nations. The Moors did. I can locate to this day. Over 200 pueblos that used to exist in Texas, Mexico, and Arizona that Spain had to maintain a population or an army for each pueblo that was to be protected from any aggression by foreign power plus the eight articles in the manifesto and more. And he's talking about treaties that have been done with um, the international community, which has been Granada at this time. And the Americas. Yeah, a lot of them was pre-1492. And we will see as he can see, as he says, we're dealing with protections. Indian had a friend, a true friend that had never, had, they had never heard of or even knew it even existed. And that's why your grandma must say Indian instead of more because by her time, the war practically had not been won against the Moors, especially in America. You already been, you've been black a more before you became even Indian. You've been, and before that, and after that, you became Negro and then black and you know your mama gonna tell you black and your grandma gonna tell you Indian because they got their time periods but you gotta go back <laughs> a long time before they remember that term and he and he know that based off his historical research he like why the fuck we got this term and this term right here showing me something else He say why? Because the existence of this frame has been completely erased from world history. Not by accident, but by a planned covert action, which make all the world history for a period of around 1,000 years in error and not correct. And the reason he says is because he looking at old treaties in different languages or whatever and realizing that a lot of those history which is more realistic history than you know obviously 
if we're dealing with a treaty from a time period, we can look at that as more truthful than some author who writing about a time period. Like an author from 1980 writing about the 1400s. We will get more truth out of a document from the 1400s than the author, right? So he's looking at documents and he's seeing a whole different history. Just like we've been seeing in our last few videos. And he realizing that this shit went a race. <laughs> Some of them also, you can see they get names, the names that they give. These names, you can say that they, that's their names. <laughs> we disassociate ourselves with these names because we don't see ourselves as those old Spanish and Portuguese people from English and French and all these people. But this is a list of the so-called maroons, the people who they couldn't, who ain't even taking no shit. And they've been destroying colonies and um, uh, plantations. Because the more. They have names like Mikhail, Congo, and Mandinga, and Arara, and Ganga. But all of South America, it's always, you always gotta. That sardinas. These so I, I believe these the ship that they've so called been captured in. Okay. Some more so called maroons. They got them dead or fugitives. <laughs> when they ain't got no last name like that, that that's when you know they already land been under the jurisdiction. Most of the time, people don't really have last names anyway. They would have been dead and wherever they're from. Your first name, dead, and then wherever they're from. But they get into this place, so they take away the day. Carolina. Victor, day Carolina, take that part off. And his title, because that's part of the name. Carabali, we deal with that earlier. The title. And you got maroon communities, that's where they're from. They call them maroons because they didn't convert and became James Smith. See, the name could have been Francisco Martinez, but to them, that's like a Spanish person. So if he's too dark and he's on the English colony now, he become um, Fran, France Martin, something like that. They won't, they won't anglicize it. And all these free people and I won't deal with the colony. Madame de Versus granted Hernando de Soto and other of Pops to look authority on behalf of the King of Spain and Portugal. We grant you by these present documents with our apostolic authority full and free permission to invade, search out, capture, and subjugate the Saracens and Pagans. So that's no matter who they find a way. They've been given authority from the port to enslave them and any of the unbelievers. When they say pagan, they talk about Carthaginians, sun, moon worshippers. And if they say any of the unbelievers, I say if they got something that we a religion that we ain't heard of, so get them. The enemies of Christ, wherever they may be, as well as their kingdoms, duchies counties, principalities, you see. So you own your counties, kingdoms, duchies, and principalities today. But you lack of knowledge, you think you're somebody else's world. 
and other property and to reduce their person into perpetual slavery. That's for the people who want to say <coughs> those information outdated. But yet, they don't even got this going for ourselves. But I related to the Supreme Business Manager. So he dealing with law and we dealing with the United States and we dealing with um, commercial treaties and we dealing with corporations, countries, states, and all this shit. In Illinois, and let him know what you think of the Moors having their own town, own mayor, aldermen, chief of police, judges, city hall, own temples, own land, own houses, own parks, and own business establishments. So that's what he's been on. So anybody who's saying they're against that, or is it outdated? I want to know why we ain't already got these shit. That's what he's been calling for in the 1920s. And they perfectly legal based off who he tell you he been, who you take, he tell you you been. International law on this land. I'm knowing that makes him say these things. You ain't gonna think about these things if you don't gotta understand who you are. Period. Because you ain't know, because you don't think you got the right first. Your divine right don't exist outside of this phase. Divine right. Statehood, the definition of statehood, the status of being a recognized independent nation. My Buddha Ali been dealing with statehood, if you want to call it a science. The most important science we need as a people today statehood. Nothing else can go right until you understand that. We deal with the Constitution was ordained and established by the people of the United States ambiguously through the action in each state ambiguous of these persons who were qualified by his law to act thereon in behalf of themselves and all other citizens of that state. And some of the states as we have seen and we see today, so-called colored person, Morris, were among those qualified by law to act on the subject. It's qualified by law to operate their states. These colored persons were not only included in the body of people of the United States, by whom the Constitution was ordained and established, but in at least five other states they had the power to act and doubtless did act by their suffrages upon the question of its adoption. And that's Judge Curtis on his um, remarks or opinions of the ruling of Judge Taney on his ruling of... Um, the Dred Scott case. And Judge Curtis is right. Because history, Judge Tanny used the fact that Dred Scott called himself a Negro. So, it absolutely right that the Negroes ain't got no rights under the Constitution. Because a Negro don't exist as a people of the United States. But, people who we call Negroes or Blacks did had a part of an exact, the, the exact people who established this United States. Just not as Negroes. <laughs> and big green tea and law. And that ruling is enough for reparations right now because look what it caused. We told Noah Drali came and, and corrected it single-handedly. That ruling caused so much destruction to these people. And at, even to this moment right now, somebody getting molested in law based off their status. Perceived status. And that's what Wikipedia, um, for the Spanish side of the treaty, of Chelsea deal, 
the cleanse. And if you look at this, this could be this the Moorish American, this the United States as we see it, even you know, this part, even this part. All these parts got treaties with the United States, the kingdoms of Sicily, Naples, Belgium, all these places got international treaties, more favorite nation status with you as an empire. And as you can see, we got all the Americans. Same thing we we um, know what y'all say, the whole continent. So, chapter 47, we can see got the United States, the Western United States, Mexico, Central America, and Spanish Caribbean. Right, so, we got Peru, Brazilian, Amazon, Panama, Nubian, Western Guiana, Venezuela, you know, the entire continent, Bolivia, Paraguay, Argentina. So, The reason why the Spanish keep these claims going because they already been under the claims of the Moorish Empire before they was Spain, Spain, all these places. And the reason why they cut out the Eastern America because that's the English colonies. And we know the English colonies <laughs> only got treaty, treaty, um, square. They only got a square on the... Uh, the Eastern Sea Board through treaties with the Morocco, 1786. The United States, right? The 13 colonies. So even after, even with that, including with Western United States, modernly, which would be Washington Territory and New Granada, those places. Off the 13 colonies. They ain't even calling everything else. It's just, we know. <laughs> we know in New France and all these other places get this. They are um, squares, <laughs> right? And so called create the United States. You just got, you just got people operating in these states other than the, you. Western United States, we got the Fuqueros, so called Black Cowboy or Buckaroo in English. They don't know where these people come from, but we know. We got Sombrero, Sombrero, the Andalusian um, culture, custom. Weapons and know how to use that thing, so you know they got a culture, they got a civilization, a society. And you see the barber, the signal, the barber, the Berbers. I've been looking at this for even looking like the, the scenery, looking like America. Southwest Africa, which is America. They are more by Samitites, Canaanites, who were driven out of the land of Canaan by Joshua and had received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to sail in that portion of Egypt. Let's see, when he says that portion, he tell you the whole thing is he, he writing it in this ambiguous way so it can be always used a lot no matter what the time period that's that's what will make it so that's what make it so great the fact that he can this can be a claim for a more in the year 21 5 150 21 50 something like that how many years from now 150 years he still can say this exact word the words and make the claim you need <coughs> 
last video I showed you a place called Mari Ecos in America. Argela, Argelia, I think that's why it is on the side. Tunis. I think I look for Tripoli, but I'm in Libya, which is Tripoli. Spell in a different way. But scientists and scholars and treaties and the people who made treaties use terms close similar to these try to ambiguous terms to try to cover as much people as possible. You know. So um, the scholars do too. They'll use biblical aspects of things to match customs. Like, okay, people who we refer to as Canaanites got a certain God, and this God we can find in different people cultures around the world. So, you always know even wars. see a European so called European um, shields right different customs and family shields and crest gotta get books on um uh, heritage 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 and see Dang. that's a YouTube video where they've been um looking at the language aspect of it connections and languages and then we find it um, the next video we'll go over them. Haji Ahmed has a map one of the oldest maps showing in some of the Americas sea traveling canals and stuff like that and it's um I forget the general name but as you can see we got Arkansas we got military action going on in early Arkansas dealing with dealing with nationality reason why we got treaties now between nations the only people who still understand this going to be able to, to operate right, right in law the Barbary and the Ghanaians and no matter what side you got the same customs and cultures got your Belgium and Gambia and all that on both sides Canaries all connected. And people from both sides. These people home um, and they're not black people. <laughs> to us they can be that. But in law they got international treaties the birthright. see too much people talking about that but I see all these people um, claiming to be everything under the sun what I lack understanding of political historical they're losing hindsight same people on both sides spread throughout the world but other people giving them history and in reality they always been existed all over the place with a hundred names and the only one
ones you should be concerned of is the ones that listed entries and documents like that because your ancestors then had the wherewithal to create law to protect you in the future in mass. So if I play in chess and I wanna you do not have that right or protection. I gotta get you to out your own woe to be something out outside the parties of the treaty. I probably just do a part three hat a little bit more. Um, yeah, we'll just probably do a part three of this treaty series. Look at, at, at all these maps you see ships in the on the map showing that constantly ships going back and forth all around the world. We 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 can't look at it as some um, people been ignorant at these times and people like this had these ships going all around the world no matter what name they got they could have been John Smith we can't assume we know how John Smith ended up by the way he dressed or by the way his complexion his skin all his language Okay, we can't just be guessing on things like that. But some of those things. <laughs> we just know that history is vast. Your, your family tree is vast. Millions of people came to the planet and died that somebody blood exists in you. Millions and probably billions who knows how long. Don't even assume there is a beginning because there ain't no evidence of one. <laughs> you, you got that monster. I learned that a long time ago watching the old Bobby Hammond video. And he said, even read all the Greek and Roman books, man. You ain't no who you see. <laughs> you know? The 70s and the 60s and the 50s and the 80s. Did an Afrocentric you so much by calling everything African, which is just a placeholder for Moorish. Because when you speak in English, the word for a dark skinned person or that empire or the people you're talking about would be Moorish. You want to speak English. So most of them Afrocentric people speak in English. They've been from America. Speak, teaching African history, allegedly quote unquote Africa. English using popularized version of history from the United States mixed in with um, Charles Darwin science um, not just Charles Darwin plenty even um, and Lucy Morris who had uh, out of Africa theories and stuff like that but you know those are the different sciences that they had jumbled up that they feed to the Moorish Americans that the whole time over draw lead, that that what we should have had. If for example saving we going to go from there. <laughs> that would lead us to what we need to like these videos based off those understanding. You know. Something I won't see if I can start this kind of but Enough. Oh, yeah, we can see, we can see how the American, the term America, and out of Maricanos, we can see how that been translated <laughs> in the English translation of the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, the second translation from Dr. Snook. See that in the next video. He took the word Almaricanus in the language of the treaty from the side of the Americans.
and he translated in the treaty to mean America. Translation could be erroneous, <laughs> or it could be right either way.